back once again to how to cook great food.com if you haven't already please click that button and subscribe to our channel also please take time to click that bell icon just below for notifications here we go we're gonna make chicken soup this truly truly is wonderful chicken potatoes carrots onions garlic rice corn chickpeas there's so much stuff in this you can really play around with the vegetables you like really really delicious Let's get straight into this. I'll leave a list of all the ingredients in the text below. Okay, so we're gonna go straight in on this one. You're gonna need a large pot. I've got some oil in there. I'm using a sunflower oil. You could be using something different. And we're gonna drop in some chicken. I've got some chicken legs. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Some bay leaf. Black pepper, and I'm going to get some salt in there, and medium heat. We're going to cook these for about just four to five minutes. Okay, so this chicken has got a bit of colour on it, but it's nowhere near cooked yet. We're now going to add in quite a lot of garlic, chopped garlic. It's about one head of garlic there, chopped and two medium-sized red onions. We're now going to let that go for about another four to five minutes. Okay, this is coming on nicely. What we're going to do now is we're going to get some liquid in there. I'm going to use water. If you wanted, you could be using a stock or something like that, but water's good for me. So enough water. To cover it like that. So what we're going to do now is bring this to the boil and keep it on a rolling boil, lid on, for about 20 minutes. Okay, so we're going like 20, 25 minutes now. Let's jump in and take a look at some steam out there. Now what we need to do is get the chicken out. One, two, three, Four, five, and six. So out they come. We can take the bay leaf out as well now. And the other bits in there. There you go. Okay, so what we want to do with the chicken is we need to get all the bones out now. So I'm going to separate that. So we just got a nice there you go. So we've got a nice bowl of meat. Now the chicken skin I use that and that's going to go back in as well some people don't want to do that. Okay so here we go what we're going to do is we're going to get in potatoes cut nice and chunky chickpeas cooked already you could be using like red kidney beans if you wanted here I've got some pumpkin in that goes carrots Corn, frozen or from a can, or fresh if you want. Little bit of uncooked rice. And then here I've got some spaghetti that I've chopped up, or just broken it up in my hand. You could be using some other pasta if you wanted. Now let's get in some more water. Staying on this heat, let this go for about another 15 minutes. I'll stick the lid back on that as well. I'm gonna go and get the chicken sorted out. Okay, let's get this lid off and take a look. Get some steam out for you. It's coming along really nicely, really fantastic. Now, I'm using this selection of vegetables, but you could be using anything else if you want. Get some mushrooms in there, some zucchini, some eggplants, some parsnips, you know, anything you like, really. Okay, we're now gonna add one more vegetable, and that is kale. So you could be using kale or spinach or something, you know, green, some cabbage. I like the kale in this one. Let's 
get that in the mix. Like I say, this is full of goodness. An amazing, amazing soup. Okay, time for our chicken. So there's my chicken. So what I've done, you saw that, I've just got all the all of the bones out. Now like I said, I'm putting the skin in as well. Some people wouldn't, but I like the skin in there. Fabulous. Fabulous. Right, a bit more water. Now that's how I'm using water, but you could be using stock if you want. It's going to go back on. That's going to go for eight more minutes. And it's pretty much done. I'll see you then. Okay, off goes the heat. Off comes the lid. Get some steam out of there. That looks absolutely fab. You've got a ton of goodness going on in there. Check that for salt. You might want to add a bit more salt. It's fine for me. But that is delicious. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?